Sudra. Atomic pile cleaner. I didn't know science had got that far. Oh, it works off the light plug, the same as all the others. Did you, um, want a vacuum cleaner? In a way. I'll meet you in the Wonder Bar, Doctor. Oye. Banker. Banker, banker. Your name? Hesselbacher. Profession? Doctor? What is this about? Nationality? German. Papers. Papers. What is this about? I am Captain Segura. Your papers. Who was the English man with you? Mr. Wormold, an old friend. I do not mean Mr. Wormold. The author. I do not know him. He's a customer. Very well. When is this? Adelante. It's air power. Air powered. What does that mean? Well, what it says, air powered. This funny little bit here, what's that for? Uh, oh, that's a two way carpet nozzle. Why two way? Well, you uh, push or you pull. The things they think of. You do pretty well? Yes, but there's not much electric power since the troubles began. When was that? Oh, about the time Queen Victoria died. This is a um, snap action coupling. <sighs> the faulty part. Uh, Lopez, let me try. You have a pretty daughter. Where is she? School. How old is she? Isn't her name Millie? Uh, excuse me. Um, this is the Midget Make Easy. Make what easy? Well, the full name is Midget Make Easy Air Powered Suction Small Home Cleaner. You are British, aren't you? Yes. British passport and all that. Yes, why? Enjoy that, chap. I'll be seeing you again. Here or there. He never intended to buy. What did he want, then? Perhaps if you hadn't been British, he would have asked you to get him a girl. Thank you. Captain Segura asked me about that man. Segura? The rep vulture himself. Did he buy anything? He said he'd see me later. Well, leave him to Lopez. He can get along without you like my patients can get along without me. People have to get ill, Hasselbacker. They don't have to buy vacuum cleaners. But you charge more. And get 20% for myself. You can't save much on that. This is not an age for saving, Mr. Vermoult. I must. For Millie. Couldn't her mother help out a little? I don't know where her mother is. Give me another daiquiri, Hasselbacker. I have no money on that. Daiquiri. I could manage a small loan. It's not that. It's just that I don't want Millie to grow up in an atmosphere like this. Civil war, men like Segura. I want a whole different life for her. A finishing school in Switzerland, a house in Kensington, and an Anglo-Saxon husband with 2,000 a year and no mistress. 
My worry is a long-term worry. And it's not worth calling a worry, Mr. Vermont. We live in an atomic age. Press a button, <laughs> bam! Ah, Billy. She's been shopping again. Girls go up early in the tropics, even in the convent school. They teach her things I don't understand. They've even given her an American accent. Sometimes when I'm with her, I feel like a foreigner. Don't you ever worry about anything, Hasselbacker? I am interested in life. So am I. No, you are interested in the person, not in life. The people die, relief us. I am interested in scientific living things. Now, I have an experiment which has to do with the blueness of cheese, which can be important and which will never die. Do you remember the day when she set fire to Thomas Earl Parkman, Jr.? And they had to push him in the fountain to put him out. She was only 13 then. She grew up so quickly. Sometimes I wish she'd set fire to someone again. She will. And I don't mean in that way. Everything under control, Lopez? Si, senor. Que pasa? Pues no sé. Bad, and you? I got top marks today in dogma and in morals. Fine. But I did best on venial sin. I dare say. Got this for your collection. Oh, thank you. I've asked Dr. Hasselbacker for your birthday. I thought we might go to a nightclub. Can we go to the Shanghai Theater? Certainly not. I can't think how you've even heard of the place. School things get around. Do you mind if the potatoes all have eyes? I, I got them at a bargain price. They'd rather look that way, Doctor. Have you decided what you want for your birthday? Really and truly, there's nothing I want. Did you know it's much cheaper to buy mustard in a tube? I, I'm starting an economy drive. Millie, you've been shopping. There is one thing I want. But I thought we might count it as a Christmas present, too. And next year's, and the year after that. Now, don't tell me you want a Jaguar. Oh, no, 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 no. Not a car. Oh, this would last for years. It might in a way save petrol. Millie, what have you bought? Well, you must know. the horse. She's awfully cheap. I got all the accessories on credit. You haven't any credit. I had to lend you three dollars for that pendant of St. Serafina. Oh, guess what she's called? How can I? Serafina. Oh, uh, Captain Segura's offered me free stabling here at the country club. How on earth do you know Captain Segura? Oh, uh, he gives me this home. Do you know what they call him? Uh, the Red Vulture. I know, he tortures prisoners, but he never touches me. Just sing sad songs about flowers and death. And what about a bull? You aren't in love, are you, with this Captain Segura? Oh, I don't give a darn about Captain Segura. Seraphine, I care about. She's 15 hands and has a mouth like velvet. Everybody says so. Feel. $150,000 for three years? <laughs> of course, there won't be any difficulty with a business like yours. Just you stop in any time and see the manager. Oh, Henry. Well, I'll ring you again, a customer. Three hundred dollars. You have an overdraft of twenty-five dollars, Mr. Warmer. Right? It's only for a week. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> the bank's not worried, Mr. Warmer. But we have our rules. Dicorate, please. Right away, sir. 
Scotch and soda, please. Thank you, sir. Mr. Wormold, what a strange coincidence. I suppose this is one of your usual haunts. I've never seen so many whiskies, have you? As a matter of fact, I have. I collect miniatures. I've got 93 at home. I've been meaning to have a word with you. Have you decided on a cleaner yet? Cleaner? Back home cleaner. Come down to the shop. I'd rather not. A bar's not a bad place. You run into a fellow countryman, have a little get-together. What could be more natural? Where's the gents? Through there. You go in there and I'll follow you. But I don't want the gents. My dear fellow, don't be crass. But I don't need it. Don't let me down. You're an Englishman, aren't you? Looks more natural if someone barges in. And of course it confuses a mic. A mic? You're quite right to question that. There probably wouldn't be a mic in a place like this. But it's the drill that counts. Just ship that box, will you? No wires? Good. My name's Hawthorne. You will come to know me better as 59200. I'm in charge of the Caribbean network. It sounds like the Secret Service. So the novelists call it. Why have you picked on me? Patriotic Englishman. Volunteer, 1939. We have to have our man in Havana. Recruit sub-agents, keep an eye on things. Submarines need fuel. Atomic submarines don't. Quite right, old man, but a war started to the times. We also need economic intelligence. Sugar, coffee, tobacco. It's all in the government yearbooks. Oh, never rely on them. Well, when's I that? Look out, someone's coming. Slip into a cabinet. Mustn't be seen together. But we have been seen together. Don't argue, old man. I know the ropes. from the bar. Maybe a bit suspicious. He might have recognized my legs under the door. Do you think we ought to change trousers? Wouldn't look natural, old man. Still, you're getting the idea. Come and see me at 10 o'clock tonight. Room 506 Capri Hotel. Sign official secret sex, all that rubbish. You don't really think I'll come, do you? $150 a month and expenses, old man. Tax free. You missed the chicken hot pot on the Serafina. You aren't still worried, are you, about Captain Segura? You're happy at school, Millie. Really. No one pulls your hair now. No. And you don't set fire to people. That was when I was 13. Now listen, Millie. If suddenly I made a lot of money, how would you like to go to Switzerland? To a finishing school? It isn't a very good riding country. Horribly expensive. Couldn't we instead... What? Join the country club.
ducks are free. What are you doing, Father? Do you remember last year at the circus? That clown? The one who fell off the tightrope into the bucket of whitewash. We should all be clowns, Millie. Are you still unhappy about Mother? Sometimes. But of course I pray for her. When she comes back? Oh, no, not that. We don't need her. No, that she'll be a good Catholic again. I'm not a Catholic. That's different. You're invincibly ignorant. I expect I am. I'm not insulting you, Father. It's only theology. What else do you pray? Well, of course, lately, I've been concentrating on the horse. Father, can't you stay a little longer? There are things I've got to arrange. About the horse. Father! Mm -hmm. It's wonderful how you always get what you pray for. You go to sleep. Arriba los manos. Las manos. Don't be too careful. I've uh, brought you back your umbrella. Sorry I'm late. You've moved the lamp. Why, oh, I was just looking around. You seem fond of lamb's tales from Shakespeare. One copy's for you. Oh, uh, but I don't read lamb. It's not meant for reading. Have you never heard of a book code? As a matter of fact, no. I keep one copy. All you have to do when you communicate with is to indicate the page and the line where you begin the coding. You understand? Well, I'll explain in a minute. It's rather complicated and not very secure. Have you got an electric kettle? Yes, why? For opening letters, of course. And plastic knitting needles. You'll want those. I brought you some ink. I have plenty of ink. Secret ink for communicating with your agents. Oh. Well, I haven't any agents. Your first job is to recruit some. You run short of ink, you can always use bird droppings. Your code number is 59200 stroke 5. I, of course, am 59200. You will number your sub agents 59200 stroke 5, stroke 1, and so on and so on. Do you get the idea? I don't see how I can possibly be of any use to you. You refuse to serve your country? I didn't say that. It, it's just that, well, the vacuum cleaners take up a lot of time. It's an excellent cover. Your profession has quite a natural air. It is natural. Now, if you don't mind, we'll get down to our lamp. This code is damned hard for anyone to break without knowing the name of the book. Why did you choose lamb? Because it was the only book I could find here in duplicate except Uncle Tom's Cabin. I was in a hurry and had to get something. Mr. Wormold, please attend. Now, think of a message you might be sending to me, and we'll put it into code. Received your esteemed order of the 23rd inst. Really, Wormold, you'll have to do better than that. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Come in. You wanted me, sir? Just a gossip, 59200. All going well? I think we've got the Caribbean network sewn up. Just put me in the picture. I think you'll find the West Indies over here, sir. I always mix up the East and the West Indies. Haiti. Is here, sir. 59200 stroke two is proving very energetic. Here in Martinique, we are working with the French Dersian Bureau. Only up to a point. Oh, of course, sir, of course. Here I am in Kingston, and here is Cuba. I'm not quite so happy about 59200 stroke five. Who's he? Our man in Havana, sir. But he hasn't sent in any reports yet or recruited a single sub agent. What type is he? Commercial, in the import business. I trust he's a man of substance, Hawthorne. Small men are worse than useless. 
Oh, definitely, sir, definitely. One of those old-fashioned merchants. Hmm. But you haven't had any word from him. Only one cable, sir, asking us to pay his membership of the country club. I rather hesitated about that. Why? As a matter of fact, well, sir, it's about ten times as expensive as the best London club. Haunt of millionaires. But that's exactly where our man should be. Right place for contacts. Don't be penny-wise, Hawthorne. That's not the way these old merchant adventurers built up their business. Do you read Kipling? No, sir. How does he communicate? I taught him the book code, sir. I gave him Lamb's Tales from Shakespeare, but he seems to be using it for reading only. Send him a sharp cable, Hawthorne. Men like that who exercise authority understand authority. Take this down. Following from C. Absolutely essential. Recruit agents without delay. Send names you propose immediately for checking. Perhaps I'm being too severe, Hawthorne? The country club cost us 500 pounds entrance fee, sir. 500? Add this, Hawthorne. Unless for recruiting agents, what other possible use has the country club? About time I met my fellow members. Isn't she lovely? Take care with her. Excuse me, sir. May I help you? Uh, uh, no, thank you. I am a member. My name's Wormo. Oh, Miss Millie's father. That's right. Sorry, sir. has been sent through to the government. Forgive me, I couldn't help overhearing what you said. Now, perhaps we can have a word privately. Haven't I met you somewhere before, no? the embassy? Good heavens, I'd ever go there. I'm afraid you'll have to if you want to see me in private. I happen to be the ambassador. <laughs> Copy of the club's membership, sir. Thank you. Happy event meeting you, Chiffonses. Can you tell me what we are talking about and why? There's a proposition I wish to make to you in private. Come to the office. Bar's a good place, engineer. Run into a chap, have a get together. What more natural? Waiter. Give Captain Montes another drink and bring me the bill now. You're right, engineer. This is the best place to kind of talk. Oh, keep the water running. It's safer that way. Now look. You make yourself comfortable in there, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. Keep your hands off me. You are making a great mistake. Now, if you touch me again, I shall complain to the committee. Am I interrupting you, engineer? You are interrupting nobody, Professor Sanchez. Lopez. You've been with me a great many years now. We trust each other. Sure. Uh, how would you like to earn a bit more money each month? Uh, nothing to do with the firm. Personal services. I understand. I'm discreet. I'm not sure you do understand. I know a girl. She's just... Uh, I, I don't mean that at all. Uh, I want you to keep your eyes open and report to me on... Uh, well, on... Then, oh, forget it. But there's no need to be embarrassed in speaking to me. Hey. 
How goes the experiment, Hasselbecker? Is the cheese still blue? I dream all goes well. Reality in our century is not something to be faced. You've never felt the need for money. But then you have no child. Oh, my dear Mr. Beaumont, you will have no child either. The other day I was offered money to get information. What sort of information? Secret information. So you're a very lucky man, Mr. Beaumont. That sort of information is always easy to give. If it is secret enough, you alone know it. All you need is a little imagination. Have you never read advertisements of secret remedies? A hair tonic confided by the dying chief of a Red Indian tribe? There's something about a secret that makes people believe. But they want me to recruit agents. How does one recruit an agent, Hasselbacker? You invent them too, Mr. Bobo. Have you ever heard of a book code? <laughs> Don't tell me too much. You think I should invent and take their money? They have no money except what they take in taxes for men like you and me. As long as you invent, you do no harm. And they don't deserve the truth. They? Kingdoms, republics, principalities, powers. <laughs> Today, at the country club, I made contact with a Mr. Chifuentes, an engineer who has wide knowledge of harbor installations and all naval activities. He will be expensive to recruit, but should prove most useful. Unfortunately, my approaches were observed by Professor Sanchez of the university, and I felt, therefore, for security reasons, I should recruit him, too. Teresa is a popular actress and extremely close to the Minister of Posts and Telegraphs. I kept the operation in my own hands, as considerable tact was required. My idea worked splendidly. mysterious new weapon. I've started a new career, science fiction writer. And I'm illustrating my own works. What's the story about? Uh, over the snow-covered mountains of Cuba. Oh, uh, there's no snow in Cuba. Well, they won't know that. Lost over the snow-covered mountains of Cuba, a dashing pilot of the Cubana Airlines. He better have a name. What should we call him? I knew a Saavedra once. Too fancy. Perez. Pilot Perez. Oh. Alliterative. Uh, Montes, that's what we call him, Pilot Montes, just recruited into the British Secret Service. Montes looked down. What did he see? Concrete platforms, unidentifiable pieces of gigantic machinery. Is it a rocket to the moon? May I borrow this? No, you can't. I want it. Will you be a successful author? I hope so. Then could I have a pair of spurs for my birthday? Certainly. In 
immediatamente. What happened? All the time we were drinking, there was this. You called the police? Well, I know it was the police. Three days ago, a man called on me and asked me to work for him. I refused. But he threatened. What did he want you to do? It was not a doctor's job. Do you know if they've taken anything? Some papers. Important? Nobody's life is quite clean. You and I are different from the people here. We do not have a confessional box in which to raise a past. But it's not all of this that matters so much. A dream. I know that. Fleming discovered penicillin by an inspired accident. But an old second-rate doctor would never have such an accident. I'm finished with the blueness of cheese. They strike at you through what you love. Couldn't you start again, Hasselbacker? I suppose so. But you see, I never really believed in it. It was a dream. This is reality. Just the same. It was none of their business, was it? If I wanted to dream. You've all seen these drawings? Pretty horrifying, sir. Have you shown them to the boffins? The Prime Minister asked me that just now. But you know what these fellows are like. They criticize points of detail. You can't expect an agent to memorize everything at a moment of danger. Ah, Hawthorne. Good flight. A bit bumpy over the Azores. I've just been seeing the Prime Minister. Our man in Havana has done a good job. He deserves a bonus. That, those drawings have already cost a lot, sir. Stroke five gave a great deal for them. I never mind paying for results, Hawthorne. Take another look at them. Do you know what the Prime Minister said when I showed him the copies? What's that odd flower you're wearing? It might have been an orchid once. Pan American gave it with dinner last night, sir. What an odd thing to do. What did the Prime Minister say, sir? He said some of these drawings reminded him of a gigantic vacuum cleaner. I'm no scientist, but this thing looks pretty big. Makes you sure, doesn't it? It, it, it? It's not that, sir, but it was 92 degrees in Jamaica yesterday. Your blood's getting thin. Could be a vacuum cleaner, sir. Not a vacuum cleaner. Fiendish, isn't it? The simplicity, the devilish imagination. See this one here. Like a gigantic spray. Six times the height of a man. Why the umbrella? Do look at his sensuals, Hawthorne. Gentlemen, I think we may be on to something so big that the H-bomb will become a conventional weapon. Is that desirable, sir? Of course. Nobody worries about conventional weapons. The war has for one photograph, sir. They shall have them. It's a very difficult area, sir. I can't see how this new man, Montes, got the drawings in the first place. Government planes patrol all that area, spotting for rebels. Don't you think I should go to Havana first and talk to Stroke Five? Bad security. We can't risk compromising him now. He's an untrained man, sir. Then we should consider sending him a trained staff. You know, Hawthorne, we owe a great deal of this to you. I was told once you were no judge of men, but I back my private judgment. Well done, Hawthorne. Thank you, sir. That one seems to interest you especially. What's your idea on that one? It looks like a... a snap-action coupling, sir. Father, your stories must have been awfully successful. 
on this auspicious occasion. Fell it. Oh, not after a couple of bottles of crew 52. All I want to say is to Millie and her long and happy future. You are tipsy, Father. At 17, many their fortunes seek, but at four score, that's you and me, Hasselbecker, it is too late a week. Shakespeare, as you like it. Oh, it isn't in Lansdale's Shakespeare. They got out the poetry. I know, because Father's got a copy. Do you read Shakespeare in that form, Mr. Vermont? Hmm? Was that the poetry? Not me. He does. He's got a volume in his bedroom. I bought it for you. Then why were you so cross when I borrowed it? I wasn't cross. I just didn't like you poking around among my things, that's all. Buenas noches. I'm so glad to meet Millie's father. May I sit down? We were just going. Nonsense. It is early yet. You are my guest. More so? You're behaving very badly. Badly? Uh, what, to you? To all of us. This is my birthday party and my father's party, not yours. Your birthday? Well, then, you certainly are my guest. I'll invite some of the dancers to the table. We don't want any dancers. Am I in disgrace? Yes. I know what it is. I, I was not there today to give you a lift, huh? But sometimes I, I have to put police work first. I'll ask the musicians to play happy birthday to you, huh? Do you do no yeah. such thing. How can you be so, so vulgar? <laughs> She's always kidding, you know? That's why we get on so well together. Is that the one made of human skin? <laughs> Merely said that, huh? What a thief she is. Now, come and dance and show I'm forgiven, huh? I don't want to dance. You must not spoil my party. Do not sulk because I'm a busy police officer. All right. Tomorrow I will be waiting at the convent gates. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I. I meant it for my whiskey. Your whiskey? Dimple Haig. You have finished your siphon, madame. May I offer you another? Thank you. This is the first time I've been shot in the back. I'm glad it was by a woman. I uh, hope I see you again soon. I'm taking a job here. If you have any trouble with your permit, you must come and see me. He behaved very well, considering, didn't he? A man can smile and be a villain. May I rob you of your daughter, Mr. Vermont? Well, Mr. Wormald? Yes? It's the most amazing coincidence. Do you believe in fate? Oh, I, I'd like to. I'm your secretary. I haven't a secretary. London must have told you I was coming. <laughs> no, they haven't said a thing. I'm very glad I ran into you. Well, I'm glad, too. Where are you staying? Well, here tonight and tomorrow. I'll have to look for something. Why have I got to have a lovely secretary? I'm to take over contact with your agents. Don't London trust me? Of course, but you're terribly important now. Those constructions in the mountains. Of course, I, I, I'm fully trained. Codes, inks, microphotography, but, but I don't know very much about nuclear fission. No? Uh, Beatrice. That's Rudy. Who's he? He's your radio operator. He's a little airsick now, but he'll be all right in the morning when he moves in. Oh, uh, he has to stay in your office, of course. It's a very small office. Oh, but he doesn't take up very much room. Don't worry. I I'll take care of that in the morning. That's what I'm here for. Thanks very much. Lopez, I don't want those. Father, that girl that joined us last night, what does she do? Beatrice Evans, she's going to be my secretary. Father, you do work fast. Did you like her? How do I know? You were so busy necking. I wasn't necking, as you call it. Does she want to marry you? Oh, Millie, do be sensible. I only met her last night. What is it, Lopez? There's someone to see you. Who? Well, what are you trying to say, Lopez? 
Rudy will be along in a moment, Mr. Wormel. Hello. I don't know where we'll put him. Oh, the bed will go there, and the safe, um, here. There's nowhere for him to keep his clothes. There's your desk. Who's Rudy, your husband? No, he's the new accountant. Are you married? In a way. Did you leave him? I'm not sure. He used to go to UNESCO conferences on culture, and one day he just didn't come back. Millie, it's time you were off. You've no right to be asking those questions. Oh, at my age, one has to learn from other people's experiences. You will be sensible, won't you, Father? You know what I mean. Oh, there's plenty of room. What's this? Uh, my agents. Oh, we can't possibly leave them there. You haven't much of an idea of security. What are these cards? My agents. I thought you'd want to see them. Oh, yes, thank you. I keep them under my pillow. At night, I mean. You shouldn't list them by name, just symbols. Professor Sanchez. Engineer Sifuentes and Teresa. Who's Teresa? She dances naked at the Shanghai Theatre. How interesting for you. What kind of secrets does she give away? Oh, she sleeps with the mini Minister of Posts and Telegraphs. What's this? Uh, it's just um, a list of country club members. Captain Montes, the one who drew the constructions. We're to get photographs of those. Prime Minister's pressing for them. What's it got to do with the Prime Minister? Father! Look what's arriving outside! Uh, uh, Rudy, I'm, bring I'm, it upstairs. I'm, I'm, right. You British? I'm British too. Glad to meet you. You're the lady who throw water on Captain Segura, huh? That's me. You lovely yep. girl, miss. You're pretty lovely yourself. What's all this stuff? But can't you see we're busy? Make an appointment. I only want to buy a vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner? Lopez. Please. Oh. Lopez. Yes. That man, there. Senor, senor. He's gone. Who? A customer. Now, about those photographs. Uh, uh, yes, yes, the photographs. First, I think you better put me in touch with Captain Montes. Well, that wouldn't be much good. He's lost his job. Is it our fault? I'm afraid so. He was flying off course, you see. Well, isn't there anybody else you could send? The engineer, Sir Fuentes? He's been in hospital for weeks. One of those strange tropical diseases. Could I take him something to the hospital? Grapes? Oh, he's beyond grapes, I'm afraid. Well, who else is there? Anyway, Montes is the only man who knows the place. I'll see what I can do, oh, but yes. I don't. London won't take no for an answer. They may have to. Let me see him. Uh, uh, you, you must leave this to me. Uh, I'll call him right away. Montes? Signal. He knows where to meet me. Where? Uh, the country club. Well, Millie, you have a police escort. I didn't ask for one. Deliver our safety, Captain. Madre Superiora, después de misa, vamos a una prisión. Why did you come inside? Everybody's staring. What did you tell Reverend Mother? I was telling her a story, one which I could not tell you. You should be very careful what you say to a nun. They take vows of chastity. She and I were at school together. You and Reverend Mother? Yes, this very same school. 
I was a poor man's child. I used to watch the older girls dressed in white, what would they say instead, white... Uh, Muslin. Muslin, yes. And I used to say to myself, oh, you're very grand, very proud now, but one day I shall marry someone just like you. But you didn't. But I shall. Has Dr. Hasselbacher been in? No, sir. Montes has agreed to take a private plane to get the photographs. Oh, he's a wonderful man. The odds are 50 to 1 against him. Of course, if he doesn't get back, the Prime Minister will never hear any more about those constructions. Rudy, is the radio ready yet? They broke a rectifier tube. I can't do anything until that's fixed. We'll have to use the book then. Take down this cable to London. Copy to 59200 in Jamaica from 59200 stroke 5. Montez, only agent who knows location, has agreed pilot private plane over mountains to obtain photographs. Uh, no, with some help. Of the constructions. Uh, must leave here midnight to arrive location at dawn. Um, owing to extreme danger, this will be better. Uh, uh, owing to extreme danger uh, of being shot down by government planes patrolling what is rebel area, suggest bonus of um, seventeen hundred dollars. Well, why not make it two thousand dollars? They like round figures. Don't want to seem extravagant. Um, cable approval immediately. Message ends. Well, that's that. Yes, but we may be sending a man to his death. Oh, I'm sorry. This is my first job in the field. I wish you weren't one of them. Uh, us, I mean. It's a living. Not a bit of real one. Oh, there are lots of other jobs that aren't real. Oh, there you are. Uh, I'm home now, Father. Why... Did your marriage break up? He was acting all the time. Great lover. You can't love and be as confident as he was. If you love, you're afraid of losing it, aren't you? But you've every reason to be confident. You've pulled a big scoop. You're our man in Havana. The best agent in the Western Hemisphere. Do I give that impression? <laughs> but that's your cleverness. Don't you have a room where there isn't a bed? Beds always make one talk. What's next door? Millie's room. But that's got a bed in it, too. I never knew you'd been in the army, Hasselbacker. Who has not been? It is nice for Mr. Volmo to have a secretary. 
A short time ago, you were worried, I remember. Things changed for no particular reason. Excuse me. I'm expecting a telephone call. Do you have this one, Mr. Vermold? How very kind of you. Thank I think you. I have discovered where to find you a bat 69. Do you know what I would do with your collection? I would use them for checkers. Such a dull game. But if when you take a man, you drink it. What handicapping, what finesse. A game to make us forget the world we live in, huh? Don't you ever read anything but medical books, Dr. Hasselbacher? I have little time for any other reading. Where was your home? My father was a schoolmaster in Munich. When did you leave Germany? 1934. So I can plead not guilty, young lady, to what you suspect. Oh, I didn't. Then I'm sorry. Ask Mr. Vermold. There was a time when I was not so suspicious. that to London. But it is an odd coincidence, isn't it? Life's full of coincidences. Why shouldn't he read Lamb? He's a good old man. I've known him for 15 years. The best friend I ever had. Will you please excuse me? She will come some other evening. Can I help? You? No, you cannot help. A doctor is always supposed to get used to death. But I am not a good doctor. Who has died? A patient? It was an accident. Just, just an accident. A car crashed. There are always accidents everywhere, aren't there? It, it must have been an accident. He was a pilot. They always make reckless drivers. What's his name? Montes. Yes. That was his name. You've seen a ghost. We've had bad news. Somebody killed. Oh, I am sorry. Who? Nobody you know. Captain Montes. Captain Montes? The cabana pilot? Billy. Oh, Father, I don't like unhappy endings. Billy, please. Why have him killed? I was just getting fond of him. You don't want me here, do you? Neither of you. Right. Did Millie know him? In a way. It sounded so heartless. No, 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 no. That's just her way of talking. We must warn our other agents. Don't be silly. I, I, I mean, it was an accident. Hasselbacker said so. You don't believe that, do you? They're getting tough. Who are they? The other side, whoever they are. Spying is a dangerous profession. I wonder why they let you and me get back here safely. Perhaps they're using us as bait. Of course, if the bait's no good, you throw it away. Excuse me, sir. There's a man in the gutter outside. Oh, thank you. Uh, 
Just relax. You again! Who the devil are you? In trouble, senor. I was walking peacefully along the seafront when I was attacked. He ought to have been in hospital. In heaven's name, why should I be in hospital? And who is this man? They go and throw me on this doorstep like a parcel. You don't know this man? I don't want to know him, but he keeps on cropping up. Perhaps you'd like to explain at police headquarters. With pleasure. He was very convincing, wasn't he? Mm. To think there was a moment when I doubted whether you had any agents. I wonder why they did that. It looks as if I'm dangerous to work for. We'd better get to the others. Teresa first. No, no, I'll go alone. I know it's not exactly fun at the shag party. Which one is Teresa? Oh, they all look the same without them, like Japanese. Oh, you want me to come with you? I speak good English. Smart of her not to recognize me. Yes, we want you to come with us. Oh, no. You want Daisy. Daisy, it's contigo. Eh, bueno. Con mucho gusto. Oh, but that is too much money. I'm a good girl, not a hustler. Senor, senor. La policia. Me buscan aquí, senor. Eh, este hombre debe ser millonario. Since you're receiving certain information, Mr. Wormold, I have been having you followed. I had no idea that Millie's father would be found at the Shanghai. Or you, senorita. Uh, Mr. Wermold, I have received a complaint from the engineer Sifuentes, who was attacked and dumped on your doorstep. Earlier this evening, a Captain Montes was killed. Because of this, there are certain questions I would like to ask you. Me ha dado esto. Es mucho dinero. Yo no se lo pedí. Yo soy una buena muchacha. ¿Qué se ha creído él? What are you going to do with her? Just have her papers checked. No, don't worry. She has uh, many friends in the police department. And now to you, Mr. Wermold. Why did you go to Hasselbacher's tonight? Why does one go to see a friend? He spoke of this. Now this. You knew him? No. Well, you've had your friend Hasselbacher's phone tapped for a long time. Hello? Did you get ho hold of Wormold? Yes, he's here. Tell him that Montez is dead. Dead? But you promised you'd only frighten him. Cars are tricky things. You can't always control an accident. You said it would be just a warning. It's still a warning, ha ha Has Hasselbacher. Go in and tell him Montez is dead. Do you still say you know nothing of Montez? I give you my word of honor, I didn't even know of his existence until tonight. And the man speaking with Hasselbacher, you did not recognize the voice? A man with his stammer? It is very distinctive. Hello? Did you get ho hold of Wormold? I shall accept your word for the time being. Let us see how it holds up at the next meeting. Do you play checkers, Mr. Wormold? Not very well. In checkers, uh, one
one must move more carefully than you are tonight. You needn't have given your word of honor. You didn't have to go as far as that. Huh? Oh, it was professional of you. I know I'm being unreasonable, but you're more professional than I even believed you were. And Dr. Hasselbecker, he's professional too. The best friend you ever had. I don't condemn a friend on her. Buenas noches, Miguel. Buenas noches, señor Guamo. Been to a fancy dress dance, Hasselbacker. I suppose this uniform does need an explanation. Other things need one more. I want to know who Montes was. You know already. I have no idea. How long have you been reading Shakespeare in that form, without the poetry? Only since Millie's birthday party. You remember how she talked? So he gave me copies of your cables. You've been very careless, Mr. Vermont. There was nothing in them that mattered. So I believed. I would not have agreed to cooperate with them otherwise. Who are they? They do not introduce themselves. The people who tore up my laboratory stole my papers. Had they reported me to the police, they could have deported me. How was I to know that what I decoded for them was was true. You advised me to invent, and I invented. So far as I am concerned, Montes was an invention. Then you invented him too well. He was no more real to me than a character in a novel. His name was real enough, and his profession. He denied working for you. They offered him a great deal of money if he would work for them instead. They too wanted photographs, Mr. Vermont, of the constructions in the mountains. There are no constructions. So I thought. But the British Secret Service would not be so easily deceived. Neither would other people here. Why didn't you stick to, to invention? I don't even know why I picked on the name Montes. I would have loaned you money. I offered to. I needed more than you could lend. It needs no skill to kill a man. But to save a man, that takes six years of training. Then one cannot be sure. There is not one patient that I know for certain that I've saved. There's a man I killed. I know him. Why dress up as a soldier? I was not dressed this way when I killed a man. I was dressed as a doctor. I was reading Charles Lamb. Mr. Wormald, I just want you identified. Hello, Teresa. Hey, your son! Me ofrecieron mucho dinero. That's him. I recognize him perfectly. A disgraceful scene. There was no need for you to send your men to fetch us. Mr. Wormald, you're playing the wrong character. It is I who am the injured party. Yesterday, you gave me your word of honor that you did not know Captain Montez. I repeat it. I've never set eyes on him in my life. It's a lie. He drank with Captain Montez and myself on the terrace at the country club. He pressed his attentions on us. He, he wanted to speak to me privately, and he followed me to the washroom. He left the pilot sitting at the table on, on the terrace. That be all. Once you remain indoors, you'll be safe. Take her with you. The country club. There was a man in uniform. How did you make the engineer talk? Thumbscrews? The engineer does not belong to the torturable class. Are there class distinctions in torture? Some people expect to be tortured. Others are outraged by it. One never tortures except by mutual agreement. Who agrees? Usually the poor. In your welfare state, you have uh, social securities. Therefore, you have no poor. Consequently, there. Uh, you are untorturable. I may have said something to him. What did you say, Mr. Wormald? Uh, I, I said I, I might have spoken to him. What does that prove? I do not have to prove anything, Mr. Wormald. 
It's my job to know what goes on in Ivana. This is a deportation order, Mr. Wormold. The names are not filled in yet. Because you have no evidence. Because Havana would be poorer without your daughter. But if I am to do something to protect you, you must do something in return. What? You must be my agent. But you're crazy. I'm not interested in your employers. But the information you supply to them, you will also supply to me. But this is all rubbish. There will, of course, be adequate funds deposited to your bank account. What? She's a good shot. Our lady of the soda water. I don't want to leave Havana, Captain Segura. Perhaps you can persuade Mr. Wormald. One day, I'll beat you at that damn game. I doubt it, Mr. Wormold. Beatrice, I... Mr. Wormold, the cable. Oh, I'll take it. Mr. Wormold's busy. Idiota, Lopez. Cable from Hawthorne in Jamaica. Report here immediately to 59200 on grave personal matter. Well, Mo, had a good trip. Not very. I asked you to come over because there's a spot of bother. Oh, yes. About those constructions. I tried to get the photographs, but... I was rather suspicious. Frankly, they reminded me of parts of a vacuum cleaner. That struck me, too. Because, of course, I remembered all those thingamies in your shop. Midget make easy, snap action coupling and all that atomic nonsense. I know it seems fantastic now. You mean you thought that I had tried to pull the leg of the Secret Service? That did occur to me, of course, until I found the others and made up their minds to murder you. I have a planter's patch. They're very good here. Did you say murder me? That really proves the drawings are genuine. Who is going to murder me? Well, we'll come to that. What I mean is that next to having photographed, so one couldn't possibly have a better confirmation of your reports. I think you'll like that. Would you mind telling me who is going to murder me and how it interests me personally? Well, actually, they plan to poison you at a business lunch. European traders or something of the sort. How do you know all this? We penetrated our organization here. In a way, you know, it's a compliment. You're dangerous now. I suppose I'd better not go. Of course you must go. If you don't, you put my sauce in danger. You needn't eat anything. Couldn't you give the impression of somebody who only drinks? You know, an alcoholic. Well, thanks very much. Very good for business. You're not afraid, are you? This is a dangerous job. You shouldn't have taken it on unless you were prepared to see it through. There's no need for you to worry. When they serve you, never take the nearest portion. It's, it's like a conjurer trying to force a card on you. He usually succeeds. Anyway, you've got the hotel world tied up. What on earth are you talking about? Don't you know your own agents? All you have to do is to pass the word to the head waiter, Louis, your own chap. Oh, yes, of course. Stroke five, stroke eight. Stroke nine. Nine. Can't you give me some idea of, of, of who the man at the lunch will be? I, I, I mean, the, the man who plans to do it. But that's what we want you to find out, old man. Just be careful of everyone. Drink up your planter's punch. Cigarettes only, please, sir. You with new cleaners? Yes, I was first cleaners. Hard business. Not so bad. <laughs> We've got a new model that's going to swipe your market. Special silence. We're going to call it the Whisper Wife. This is my first trip. Gay spot, Havana, they tell me. Oh, if you care for roulette and brothels. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't exactly mean... Not that I'm a Puritan, mind. I suppose it'd be interesting. 
Here's my card. Perhaps you have a night free. Uh, my name is Wormold. Are you going to the European traders' luncheon tomorrow? Yes, the president invited me. I, I don't know a soul. Keep an eye on me, will you? I don't want to put my foot wrong. You can keep an eye on me, too. Uh. I'm just off. Mm. You haven't had any breakfast. I'm not hungry. You won't overeat at the trader's lunch. I promise I'll be very careful. I bet your speech will be a sensation. I'm trying very hard not to be a sensation at this lunch, Millie. Uh, Millie. Um, uh, give me another kiss. <laughs> you haven't shaved on that side. I wish you wouldn't go. London wouldn't want you to, whatever Hawthorne thinks. If I don't go, they'll try something else. They strike at you through what you love, so Hasselbacker says. Don't worry about Millie. I'll watch her like a lynx. Who's going to watch you? Oh, for goodness sake, put that knife down. Eleven more lids, and we can get an air gun for the office. We need some sort of weapon. I've only got to be careful what I eat. It is important to find out who they are. I'll have done something for my money. Oh, you've done plenty. The drawing, Segura, there's no point in going. Oh, yes, there is. Pride. Who are you showing off to? You. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Mr. Wormold. Uh, Senator, let me introduce Mr. Wormold. Mr. Wormold, your president, Dr. Brown, here has been telling me that I'm going to have the very great pleasure of hearing you speak. I hope it'll be a pleasure. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Wormold. Come away from here. They're planning to poison you. Is the food so bad? Oh, hello. You mustn't be seen here, Hasselbacker. You're too conspicuous. You, you can't stay. Now, don't worry. I'm going to come out on my own two feet. Now go home, Hasselbacker. Goodbye, Jim. Damn glad to see you. Oh, I'm glad to see you too, Carter. No, no, thank you. Perhaps you prefer a dry martini, sir. Is your name Louis? Uh, yes, sir. Would you like a scotch, a sherry, old-fashioned? Anything you care to order. I'm not drinking. You'd do better to drink all you can. My name's McDougall. It seems we're sitting together. I haven't met you before, have I? Well, I've taken over from McIntyre. You knew McIntyre, surely? Oh, yes, yes. I, I didn't know he'd gone. Gone. God rest his soul. You'd do better to drink now. It's all you'll be getting. There'll be wine, won't there? Look. An American blue plate lunch in honor of our great American allies. They shove the whole meal at you under your nose, already dished out. Roast turkey, cranberry sauce, sausages and carrots and creamed potatoes. I can't bear creamed potatoes, but there's no pick and choose with a blue plate. No pick and choose? No, you eat what you're given. That's democracy, man. Look, if you take a little of your iced water and hold it under the table, I've got a flask in my pocket. It's too early in the day for me. It was the English who made ours for drinking, not the Scots. They'll be making ours for dying next. Svensson. Wormold. They've forgotten my carrots. You prefer it without carrots. No, it's the creamed potatoes that I don't like. Excuse me, Dr. Brown. They give you no carrots. Well, I don't like carrots. I'm sorry, I'm mistaken the kitchen. I might venture now as a celebration. Good man. Water or straight? Oh, straight. I can't tell you what it means to me having you fellows here today. <laughs> it was a happy chance meeting you on the plane. Now I'm 
going to call upon the representative of Hoover's, Mr. Vermont. We've finished all my whiskey, just when you need Dutch courage, eh? I came armed as well. Here, here, here take a quick one. We may take Mr. Wermold as a symbol for all that service means. Modesty, perseverance, and... Very kind of you, Carter. Here, here. You've got to be quick. Yeah. You wouldn't appreciate this. Mr. Wermold. Mr. President, Mr. Senator, uh, this is my first, and I dare say some of you wish it may be my last public appearance. Oh, come yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I should have the courage to stand up here if my friend Carter hadn't provided me with something stronger than milk. <laughs> Happy days. Happy days. We hear a lot nowadays about the Cold War. But any trader will tell you that the war between two manufacturers can be quite a hot war. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, take fast cleaners and new cleaners, for instance. There's no fundamental difference between the two machines any more than there is between two human beings. There'd be very little competition and certainly no war if it wasn't for the ambitions of a few men. I don't suppose that Mr. Carter even knows the name of the man who sent him here to put an end to fast cleaners for the good of new cleaners. What is it? What happened? Sir, what He's so still. And all wet down one side. Somebody must have fed him something. But let's take him out, shall we? Spare him. I was glad to get your message that you've agreed to work for me. I have always wanted our relationship to be closer. What's going on out there? And nothing to concern us. And now that you have agreed to work for me, it is much easier to approach you on a subject which is really important. I have come to ask for the hand of your daughter. Aren't you a rather uncertain life? They call you the Red Vulture. You have a lot of enemies. Mr. Wormald, as, uh, as my agent, uh, your life is not very certain either. But I have uh, uh, saved enough to take care of my widow. Now, as uh, for my health, I can show you the necessary certificates. There will be no difficulty about the children. This has been proved. I see. Uh, Millie would understand. She's a Catholic. I think this would be a most suitable marriage, Mr. Wormald. She'd never marry you, Segura. Mr. Wormald, I think that you and Millie have never so much needed my friendship as today. Come with me. I would appreciate your help on some police business. Just a formal identification. You know who it is as well as I do. Better have a glass of whiskey. Cantinero! Make it a daiquiri. It was always a daiquiri I used to drink with him. Why do you suppose he's holding that? A present for me. Have you any idea why this happened? He warned me I was in danger, that's all. You better check on a man called Carter, though he'll have an alibi. This uh, might have been you. Don't you think that Millie should be saved from uh, accidents like this? I would make a better guardian. A vacuum cleaner is uh, less effective than a 
Uh, go on, huh? Yes. Then you will use your influence. When you've finished here, come across. When you bury him, put his helmet on the coffin. He was a sentimental man. late for the movie. Your husband died, would you marry again? I don't think I'd wait for that. Yes, I suppose you could marry again. Call it a marriage. It's terrible. I have to marry for keeps. I'd be much better off as a mistress. Oh, Millie, Millie, don't let the nuns make you hard. Mm, they don't talk to me that way, not that way at all. Hey, how does this look? Do you love my father? What makes you think that? Oh, the way you looked at him when he came home from the lunch. Perhaps it's because you were pleased about his speech. Yes. I'm glad, because it wouldn't do, would it, you're loving him? Isn't indiscreet a lovely perfume? I didn't hear you come up. The end of the job. Hasselbacker has been shot. But he wasn't one of your agents. I have no agents. You were right to be suspicious. I'm not the stuff of secret agents. Just a man worried about the future. I needed money. This is a confession, Beatrice. Where's your pencil and pad? But the constructions... Uh, I saw the drawing. I drew it myself. Then... then they, they existed? Oh, yes. As parts of the atomic pile vacuum cleaner. How do you like it, Father? Oh, fine, fine. Don't you notice anything different? Beatrice helped me with my makeup. You look wonderful. We're going to the movies. Are you ready, Beatrice? I I'm sorry, Millie. I've, I've started an awful headache. Take Rudy with you. Ask him. He's downstairs. All right. I'll go with Rudy. But if there's any trouble, blame indiscreet, not me. Tomorrow, you and Rudy will fly home. And I always thought you were so darn professional. I wonder if my marriage would have broken up if he could have laughed just once at UNESCO. But he never laughed. I'm not going. I don't want you to share my disloyalty. You're loyal to Millie. Who cares about men who are loyal just to the people who pay them, to organizations? I don't think any country means all that much. We've many countries in our blood, haven't we? Would everything be in the mess it is if we were loyal to love and not to countries? What sort of sentence can they give a man for deceiving the Secret Service? Is it um, life for treason or six months for committing a nuisance? They can't do anything to you here. This isn't British territory. In time, it'll blow over. At my age, one fears time. Where will you be? Persian Gulf, perhaps. Why the Persian Gulf? Redemption through sweat and tears. Lots of things I'd like to say to you, if I was younger, if I was richer, and if there wasn't something I have to do tonight. And what do you have to do tonight, Mr. Wormald? Beat you at checkers. What is this? When you take a piece, you drink it. As I am the better player, I drink more, eh? Perhaps you have a weak head. It's as strong as another man's. But uh, sometimes when I drink, I lose my temper. And I uh, would not want to do this with my future father-in-law. You play with the scotch, I play with the bourbon. Hmm. You move first. Impossible. Walking. Careless or, or cunning. We have. Uh, Checked up on Carter. He 
Ja, ze zijn nou bij. You are playing recklessly. This uh, you should have taken me. Remove this piece, huh? Why don't you remove your belt? You'd feel more comfortable. Do you keep your gun loaded? The kind of enemies I have uh, do not give me time to load. Uh, take this piece, Mr. Wormall. You don't want to huff me? Huh. Where does Carter live? At the uh, Hotel Inglaterra. Careless again? you do that. You will lose your king. I must be drunk. Where the, why is the Millie so late? You're a bad loser, cigar. Admit you are beaten. I have the better head. Look. George IV, Queen Anne, Highland Queen, it's a royal victory, I surrender now. apologize that speech of mine. I was a bit drunk, though. I still am. I went too far. I uh, thought you were a bit strange. Upset by that dog, too. Foreigners don't know how to treat animals. What was wrong with the dog? Worms, I'd say. Uh, how about you and me doing the hot spots, eh? A bit late. All the better. Where, where, where could we go? Uh, there's a club not too far from here, the Ophelia. It's a quiet spot. Oh, very quiet. No danger of the police. Uh, everything's legal in Havana. <coughs> the uh, Ophelia. Yeah. yeah. And afterwards, we'll go on to a hut. You know what I mean? I'll be back. Thank 
give me that. Club called the Ophelia. I'll keep him there. Tell him not to be long. Time we moved on. This place is as much fun as a funeral. Another drink first. You aren't expecting anyone, are you, Carter? How could I be? The way you watched the door, I thought perhaps you had friends. Oh, no friend. Go on, Carter. She wants to be undone. Sorry, I, 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 I can't get it undone. I don't like uh, horseplay. You can see this sort of show anywhere, just tarts undressing. You're shy of women, aren't you, Carter? There are more important things. This is. Let's move on then. Th haven't they got a decent drink here? I thought you said this was the Ophelia. I changed my mind. <laughs> Why? It's nearer where we have to end. House, I mean. Then let's go. Angelina. Miguel, buenas noches, señor Warbo. ¿Cómo está? Regular. No muy bien de salud. There you are. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Friend of yours? A friend of a friend, really. He's blind. Blind? Yes, it's a pity you didn't know that. I mean, you might have given him some money. This is the house. Perhaps it'll be more sensible some other night. Ring the bell. But you're coming in. No, Carter. This is where you end up. Alone. You're make, making a mistake. I'm not important. I was under orders. Like you. Pipe. You broke my pipe. Beginner's luck. Not even armed. Wormald. We're just private soldiers, you and I. I'll take care of you in there.
was a fair fight. For as much as the spirit of the departed has entered into the life immortal, we therefore commit the body of this our brother, Karl Hasselbacher. Receive into thy merciful hands, O Lord, the soul of this thy servant, Hubert Carter. Grant him an entrance into the land of light and glory. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Amen. There weren't many of us, were there? I wish Beatrice and Rudy could have stayed. Mr. Wormold, one moment, please. I have signed your deportation papers, after all. For what reason? You prefer to work alone. Unofficially speaking, I do not feel myself safe with you around. I want you to leave immediately to London. For London? For London. Will you come and see me in Switzerland? I shall make every effort, I promise. May I go skiing to make up for Serafina? Of course. I have come to see the last of you, Mr. Wormo. Oh, Anna will miss you, Lily. Will you look after Serafina carefully? Very carefully. She is used to sugar on Sundays and Saints' days. Mr. Wormold, you deserve a long rest. Not too long, I hope. I have a present for each of you. rather sweet. What's yours? Oh, just a joke in doubtful taste. He's not without humor. But not right for a husband. You telling us that none of these reports are true? None. That's incredible. You knew this chap kept a vacuum cleaner shop? It was on his file. I reported it. As far as I know, it's a perfectly respectable profession and fulfills a useful social purpose. Didn't you spot that these drawings were all like one of his bloody machines? We all spotted it, even the Prime Minister. But there's no reason why the principle of a vacuum cleaner should not be applied to a weapon. It seems odd that Mrs. Seven didn't know she was working for a fraud. I knew I was working for a brave man, a good man. It was new experience. I don't understand. What she said? May we have your definition of good? No, post-mortem, please. 59200 stroke 5 will be here soon. We have to decide the best method of dealing with it. In spite of Mrs. Seven's moving advocacy, I should class this as treason. Sure, sir, it's a case for the Director of Public Prosecutions. The trial to be held in camera, of course, sir. Oh, Father, what's that big castle? Power of London. Can we drive your daughter anywhere? Oh, no, no. I'll wait for you here, Father. I'm afraid you may have to wait rather a long time. It seems to me, gentlemen, that what we have to do is only too simple. We have to notify the Admiralty, the War Office, and the Air Ministry that these drawings are not a weapon of war, but the latest style of vacuum cleaner. If I tell the War House that, we might as well pack up. I'm afraid that the Admiralty in future will rely on naval intelligence. My people would have no more use for the Secret Service, sir. 59200, what do you say? Well, sir. Very well. 
Hyatt 9200 stroke 5 has arrived. This is 7. Will you tell him we shall see him shortly? Yes? Hyatt 9200? Of course, sir. It will be for you to tell the Prime Minister. Why did you come back? I had no choice. Do things look black? Pretty black. What will they do to you? They need a secretary in Jakarta. That's worse than the Persian Gulf. Doesn't matter very much where I wait. Wait for what? You. Mr. Wernold. Oh, darling. Stay here. I told you I'd wait. It may be rather a long time. Sit down. I prefer to stand. That's a quotation, isn't it? You have no right to send her to Jakarta. Send who? Mrs. Seven. She knew of nothing, of anything that I If may... you'll allow me to speak. Thank you. We've been considering your last report. Uh, when I sent that confession, it was the first she knew... That of... confession was never received. Understand that clearly. Never received. I'm speaking of something quite different. The report in which you said the constructions had proved a failure. I never said anything of the sort. On the contrary... And that the works, whatever they were, had been dismantled. In view of that, we've decided to shut down your post. We think the best thing for you would be to stay here on our training staff, lecturing. How to run a station abroad, that sort of thing. Of course, as we always do, when a man retires from a post abroad, we'll recommend you for a decoration. In your case, under the rather special circumstances, we can hardly suggest anything higher than the OBE. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. You going back to the office? Mm-hmm. I'll walk over with you. 59200. Yes, sir? See that these drawings are destroyed. They must never get out of here. Yes, sir. I can't say how sorry I am, sir. Nothing to be sorry for, 59200. Happily, these plans never left our office. In our service, it is essential to bury the past very quickly and very securely. We will, obviously, have to find a different girl for Jakarta. The loss of those two, sir, will create rather a vacuum. What? I'm most frightfully sorry, sir. I really hadn't intended to make a pun. I only thought, perhaps, that if we were to make a clean sweep... I'm wearing indiscreet. Can you smell it? Have you seen this? How is Serafina? Oh, one outgrows horse. 